From Tampa Bay's number one news station, this is the Fox 13 4 o'clock news. Well, you know, Chip Brewster is revved up to show us something fun today. Isn't he always? <laughs> it's part nature, part adrenaline. Woo! You and the family looking for something a little different to do this holiday season? Well, we have got a place here in the Tampa Bay area. It's actually managed by the State Forest Service, but it's designed for UTVs, motorcycles, dirt bikes, all of the motorized fun. We're going to show it to you and let you know how you can experience it for yourself coming up. Well, here is a great view of what Chip is showing us today. A hidden gem of woodlands where you can cut loose on four wheels. But first, here's your Friday fishing forecast. Good afternoon, everybody. If you are looking to add a little bit of adventure in your life, you don't have to go far. We've got this awesome thing right here in the Tampa Bay area called Croom Motorcycle Area. It's a little east of Brooksville and well worth the drive. The guy to kind of tell us why it's worth the drive, that is Mr. Randy Davenport. He's Supervisor 1 with the Florida Forest Service, which basically means you're in charge of the Croom Motorcycle Area. This is correct. How do you describe this place to those that have never heard of it before? It's 2,600 acres of awesomeness. Oh. That sounds like a great well, description. It is. It yeah. is. Uh, you can come out, you can ride your dirt bikes, your four-wheelers, small ATVs or UTVs mm -hmm. that are like 52 inches and, and smaller. Okay. Uh, you, use, you pay an annual fee or day fee. Day fees are only $15. The annuals are wow. 80 right now, but in January, they go to 40 Woo! A little New uh, Year's yes, special. Yes, yes. <laughs> we have camping, which you would get through Reserve America. Uh-huh. It's just awesome. How this is an this, awesome place. How did this place begin? Because to me, it's it's kind of odd to have the State Forest Service running a motorcycle area. Just so it's an old head. mining area, and the state took it over in 1973. Okay. And opened it up to dirt bikes. Four-wheelers were not introduced yet. There was oh. three-wheelers at the time. Okay. So in the 80s, they come out with the four-wheelers, and here we are. And it's made up of actually several different areas within all that acreage. Well, like there's there's trails there's oh the, yes and the, the management area behind here yes yeah well and then also and like trails like this everything. thing over here the, uh, is the hundred acre bowl right yes the bowl which we call sand hill <laughs> which makes sense yes. quite a bit of sand yes. and all of it is open to the, the UTVs the motorcycles correct so you come out here and just have a full day of fun as long as you wear a helmet that, <laughs> yeah, yeah no that's good and I will be wearing a helmet thank you Randy for that now if you don't have the equipment or just want to check out the place for a day the guy to hook you up with that is Mr. Kenny Joel he is the Kenny owner of Kroom ATV Rentals. So you have this awesome fleet, if you will, of just options for people that want to come check out Kroom for themselves. Yes, absolutely. I have more than anybody in the world. I, <laughs> I really have a whole so lot of So what are stuff. some of the things that you can hook people up with and, and how do you set them up to experience this place to its fullest? Oh, awesome. Come with me. I'll show oh, you. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. He's take, take the mic, Kenny. So first we're going to start. We This is the only place in literally in Florida that any age can ride. Cool. Uh, we really start out at five years old. Uh, they really have to be able to reach the brake. Other than <laughs> that, uh, any age can ride. So if you have a four or three year old that's really big, they can ride these little ATVs and we have dirt bike training. We teach people from around the world how to ride dirt bikes. We have our own track. Wow. Yes. And then we do lessons there and we do lessons here at the park. We also do guided tours. And you do that so for kids but also for adults. Absolutely. Like if there's like the a, whole family a 32 comes. year old reporter that wants to learn a little more, absolutely. You'll, you'll take me out. Oh, absolutely. We bring the whole family. Uh, we train everybody all day, every day. We're open seven days a week. We never close, cool. especially on holidays, eight to five every single day. And again, you're going to get to see this place. This yeah. is the best place in the world. We have a whole bunch of mines that go down. They go down all the way down to 50 feet. They wow. go up 20 feet. So there's a 70-foot elevation change throughout the park, and you're going to see some of that real cool stuff. Yeah, we are. But first, you got to get me trained up, right? Oh, Okay, absolutely. so we're headed to the training area coming up next to show off a few more of these beautiful pieces of equipment. Back to you guys. <laughs> Can't, can't wait. Thank you. Still I love how the guy just took over. Like, he was like, let me show you my inventory. That was great. Plus, we are doing a feature today on the Kroom Motorcycle Area, but it is more than just one area. This, for instance, is the technical riding area. Now, before I can ride it like Ben, I've got to get a little training under my wheels. So first, we're taking you to the training area where Kenny with Kroom ATV Rentals is going to show me how it's done. Well, let's find out Chip Brewster dipping into the world of motocross and motorbikes. Let's see what he's learning. 
Hey everyone, we've made it out to the training area at Crew Motorcycle Area, and I've got Kenny Joel joining me once again with Crew TV Rentals. Now, you do a training session for those that want it or need it. Absolutely. People f come from around the world, they never got on a dirt bike before. Uh, pretty much, if you can ride a bicycle, uh, you can ride these. So we you have, don't even need a motorcycle license. You just need to have the will to learn. Yeah, exactly. And everybody wants to learn how yeah. to ride a dirt oh, bike, especially right? Especially when you see what Kroom has to offer. Like, you want to get out there and experience it for yourself. Absolutely. And we have we have these exact same bikes in every size, from the littlest bike with the training wheels cool. all the way up to the biggest bikes in the world. And then we built our own automatic bikes. So. Again, we will teach you how to ride on an automatic bike first, oh, and nice. then we will just switch you out with the exact same bike with a clutch and teach you how to get out of first gear and shift. Okay. That's well, easy. I'm ready for the training that you have to offer. I've done motorcycles, haven't done too much dirt biking. Okay. So the only difference between a, a dirt bike and a street bike, the yeah. shifting is the same, the starting is the same, okay. is that you're going to stick out your leg like a blinker. You, you have to have training wheels. So you're going to get on the bike from the left side, kick up the kickstand. If you're going to go left before you get to the turn, you're going to stick out your left leg right here, lock your knee right here. Okay. Okay. Right hand before you get there, right all the way around the turn until you come out to straight. And that's your training wheels. If you were to fall or the bike was to slide where a street bike does, Mm -hmm. Your leg will catch you, yeah. and just like training wheels, there's, you can't fall. There's a little more dirt out there than on a street. Yeah. yeah, and once you can't fall, how fun is this, right? So on, you just push this on. You just start it like this, kick it into first gear. Come on over. There you go. I got it in first Thank gear. Thank you. I appreciate you. that. All right. All right. So we teach everybody how to get out of the clutch, and what, what most people do is give it gas, but we're, you're not going to give it gas. You're okay. just going to slowly let it out until the bike starts rolling. Okay. Once the bike starts on. rolling, yeah, then you go around these trees right here. And go around these other trails that I'll kind of point you in the direction. All right, let's let's take this yeah. thing for as a little. As soon as you hold it, just hold it there, the let spot. it roll, and let it out, and Rolling. give it some gas. Out. All right, here we go. A little gas, and we're gonna go left. So yes, left leg, leg lock your leg all the way around the turn. Perfect. Your leg is your training wheel, and once you have your legs out, it is okay. impossible for you to fall. Right leg right before leg. you get there, all the way around the turn. Perfect. See how your leg was there I to catch myself. you. It worked. The system works, guys. <laughs> we're gonna go left on this one pretty much going to ride around in first or second gear. Absolutely great. Pull in your clutch. Break clutch the thing. Pull in, break. down. I put it in neutral. There it is. Yes. Absolutely. And just stop the bike. You did excellent. Oh, my God. If I had a graduation certificate, you'd get it. <laughs> Best so thing so you, you get them through that. You get them comfortable doing turns and using their, their training legs, so yep. to speak. And then after that, you actually go out on the trails. Absolutely. So we have a first and second lesson, but the first lesson would take you real easy in the trails, the easiest trails. And if you want to come back for a second lesson, we literally take you in the normal stuff where everybody goes. And once you can do that, that's when you, if you want to buy one or you just want to rent one and you don't need a pro or a guide or anything, mm -hmm. you can just get on any bike, including a street bike. Once you can ride a dirt bike, you can now ride a street bike. You just don't stick out your leg. That's the only difference. <laughs> now, there's another element to Kroom, and that is the campsites. You, you'll actually, people can stay here. You'll hook them up, bring stuff right to them. Absolutely. But, so, But to talk about the campsites, yeah. so I talked about you. We actually need to get Randy back over here. All right, Randy, we were just talking to Kenny about the, the campsite element, but I wanted to obviously talk to our supervisor, one. That's right. To hear it firsthand. So how does that work with Kroom? So we use Reserve America. We do have five what we call walk-up sites. It's mm -hmm. a first come, first serve basis on them five sites, but we have 51 sites total. So the other sites, you have to reserve it through Reserve America. Okay. And it's $25 a night. Wow. And you get to you get to ride past the closing time up to sunset. So depending Correct. on the time of year. That's the dawn. That's, that oh, might be yes. the way to do it. Now, we, we've kind of left the training area at this point, which means we are headed out to the trails. So stay tuned to see even more of this awesome thing that we have here in the Tampa Bay area. Good weather for this, too, if you're looking for a little adventure of the off-road variety. Our Chip Brewster may have found the perfect spot. Plus, we're checking out a place called Kroom Motorcycle Area. In the 4 o'clock, we're learning about dirt bikes. But if that's not your thing, hey, they welcome ATVs as well. We'll show you how to experience it for yourself. Coming up. Well, it is an off-roader's dream. Whether you're riding ATVs or perhaps dirt bikes, hundreds of acres of land set aside for the off-roader in all of us. <laughs> Our Chip Brewster got revved up to experience Kroom Motorcycle Area in Hernando County.
Good evening, everybody. Chip Brewster coming to you from Croom Motorcycle Area. It is just east of Brooksville. And man, if you have not been watching our 4 o'clock newscast, here's what you've missed so far. We showed off the 100-acre bull, trail riding, the training area, the technical riding area, the campsites, and that, that's just scratching the surface. Now, if you want to come check this place out for yourself, don't have the gear, don't have the know-how, there's a guy that can help you out with that. That's Kenny Joel with Croom ATV Rentals. And am I right that we're just, I mean, in what we're showing today on Fox 13, barely showing off this whole area yes this is 2600 acres <laughs> the best part about it it's right off the interstate at uh -huh. exit 301 the Brooksville exit it's touching the interstate it's very easy to get Jeez. to yes 2600 acres that's miles and miles and miles you can't even see this place in one day that's why there's a campsite in mm -hmm. case you want to stay overnight there you go well but we are checking out some of the coolest parts and, and on your list for coolest part includes this area what are we standing in? and let me also comment I didn't know there were actually hills in Florida, but I'm seeing it firsthand here at Kroom. Right. These are these are what they call the small mines. There's small mines and there's big mines. These aren't even the big ones. Yes. The, the big ones go down 50 feet. Oh, wow. They go up 20 feet. This one goes up, oh, about 15 feet. There's a big hill behind us that goes up about 30 feet, but it goes down only about 10 feet. And so it's very easy and everybody can do it. And as you can see, it, a four-wheeler can climb. There's no problem. Mm -hmm. You don't even need a four-wheel drive. And there is unlimited trails. There's so much different wildlife, you know, yeah. to come out here. I mean, really, you will see deer, nothing to hurt you. It's all fenced in. <laughs> There's wildlife management that yeah. takes care of this. You know what I mean? Every day we ride here, we see little baby raccoons. We see armadillos. We see the, wow. I mean, really, possums. The coolest things when you get out here yeah. in the country, right? That's Brooksville, the country. <laughs> this is. Why do they call this area the mines, or one of the areas? Of the mines? So this all started because they used to mine here way back in the 60s and early 70s, and then the crew motorcycle area decided to take it over because everybody in Brooksville was riding their off-road vehicles oh. on the road. Oh, okay. So it, to stop that, they just opened the state park. Yeah. And now, guess what? Everybody just comes here. You can get a year pass if you have your own. If you don't, your friends come to town. I have everything, every yeah. single thing, every name brand, the whole highest dollar name brand, all the kids <laughs> stuff. I got everything. So I'm like everybody else. And here's the neat thing. Yeah. If everybody else in the country does a guided tour, they just, you show up, there's 50 of the same ATVs and you just mm -hmm. go. I, I have that. Those. I have that too. It's not on my website, but if you call me, all right, my phone number's on the website, crewmatvrentalswithans.com. And you just call me, I'll give you the special. It's 149 for a two hour guided tour. And it's it's 199 for a three hour guided tour. And you get to see the, all of the 2,600 acres. You don't have to worry about what to pick out or whatever the case may be. You just show up and you go. Or if you want to learn how to ride dirt bikes, right? right. You can come to me because yeah. I'm the only guy that's teaching dirt bikes to any age. Because you do dirt bikes and then those that aren't comfortable with that, you do the ATVs. It was cool because you taught me the dirt bike thing a little bit. But then I wanted to experience a bit of the ATV side. So thank you so much for hooking us up with this little tour of oh, today. I appreciate it. And guys, the riding is good. So come take advantage of this awesome resource we have in the Tampa Bay area.